Hey friends, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play You've Lost That Loving Feeling on Guitar by The Righteous Brothers. If you enjoy this lesson, like and subscribe and check out my YouTube channel Essential Guitar Lessons. Lots of songs and lessons for all levels and new ones uploaded weekly and I'll put a link in the description for you. Now if you're having any problems with the song, please leave a comment and let me know how you go. Now I'll show you how to play the whole song and if you're struggling with any of the chords, I'll be breaking them all down at the end of the song. So if you want to have a look at the chords first, you can jump to this time, then come back to the song. Now they'll also be on the screen as we go through. And with this song, we'll be using the capo on the first fret. So when I say open, I mean the open strings, and then I'll just say the frets as normal. So let's get into it. So our strumming pattern for the song is a standard down, down, up. So slowly, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's a count of four or one bar. Our half counts, we're just playing two there, which is just a down, down, up. So down, down, up. And that's just a count of two. So slowly, down, down, up. So they're the two strumming patterns we're going to use. And there's a couple of others in there as well, which we'll look at when we get to them. So we're going to start on this B flat over C there. So if you've never done that before, just bar the 4th fret on the A, D, the G string and the B string and play the 1st fret on the E string there, and that's a B flat over C. Now if you're really struggling to get that chord, you can just bar the 4th fret on the A, D, G and B and don't play the E string either the top or the bottom there. I think it sounds a little bit better with that high E in there, the high E string. And we do that for two bars just with our strumming pattern. So that's a B flat over C. So. Then we just go to a standard C chord and do that for two bars. Go to your B flat over C again, two bars. to our C again for two bars. Then we're going to a D minor and we just do that for a bar this time. E minor for a bar. F for a bar. Now this is where it's going to change a little bit. We're going to play the G and we're going to do a down, down, up. Then we'll play the G again with a down. Then we do G over A, G over B, and that gives us our verse. Let me just do from that F to the G, and I'll do that slowly. So. And that takes us to the chorus there, and that's our first verse. So let me play that for you so you can hear how that's going to sound, starting on our B flat over C. and that's our verse. Now let's jump into the chorus. So for our chorus we're going to start on C and do that for a bar. Then we're going to go to D minor over C. So what you can do is leave your third finger on the A string and just drop your other fingers down to a D minor there. So that gives us a D minor over C and we do that for a bar. We go to the G, do that for a bar. Back to C, and we do this for two bars. Back to our D minor over C again, so same chord as before, one bar. Then to finish, we're gonna play the B flat, half a bar, so down, down. Then we're going to do B flat over A, so you can just take your first finger off, we're just playing the open A string and the fourth fret on the D, G and B, half a bar again. 
then go to B flat over G. So now we're just playing the third fret, I'm sorry, the fourth fret on the E string, mute the A string, and we're playing again the fourth fret on the D, G, and B, half a bar. And then to B flat over F. Now we're just drop, dropping back to the first fret on the E string, mute the A string, and still the fourth fret on the D, G, and B there. Half a bar there, and then we just finish on C, and we just hold that for two bars just with one strum. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let me just do that last little part, the B flat, slowly for you so you can see what's going on there. And that's our chorus, let's play the whole thing up to speed now. So the only tricky one really is getting that D minor over C and to do that leave your third finger on the C and just drop your other fingers down to the D minor. So let's play that now. That's our chorus C. So from our chorus we just go back to the verse again, we do that exactly the same. Then after that we go back to the chorus and we play up to the B flat over F. We don't play that last C and hold, we change there and go into our bridge. So our bridge is just going to be C for half a bar, F for half a bar, G for half a bar, then we're just going to play F and G over D. So it's just a G chord, but we're just playing from the D string. And we do that 13 times. Let's play it a couple of times. Nothing too hard in that part. That's our bridge, and then from there we go back to the chorus. Let's have a look at that now. So for our last chorus, it's the same as our other choruses. We do our C for a bar, D minor over C for a bar, G for a bar, C for two bars. Back to our D minor over C for a bar. And our little run down from the B flat, but this time we do that two times. So. And then we're going to our bridge chords. We're going to play the C half a bar, F half a bar, G half a bar, and our F to G over D. And then from there we just go back to the chorus and just keep repeating that there till the end. So there are all the parts, let me play that last part there for you now, coming from the C in the chorus. again there. And that's all the parts to the song. So there's a few tricky chords in there, but as I said, I'll go over all them now for you. So if you get lost with any of the chords, I'll break them all down here for you. So let's go through the chords. First, we have a B flat over C. So this is a bit of an unusual chord here. We're going to have the fourth fret on the A, four on the D, four on the G, four on the B, and then the second fret on the E string there. So it's a B flat now, if you're really struggling to get that chord, you can just bar the fourth fret on the A, D, G, and B string there if you want to. We have a standard C chord. This time we're on the fourth fret on the A, the third fret on the D. We've got the open G string, second fret on the B, and open C string. 
A string there, sorry, and that's a C chord. We have a standard D minor, we have the open D string, third fret on the G, fourth fret on the B, second fret on the E, and that's our D minor. Now we're also going to have a D minor over C here, and again a bit of an unusual chord. Going to play the fourth fret on the A string, mute the D string, third fret on the G, fourth fret, uh, sorry, second fret there on the B, and the fourth fret on the E string there. And we've got a D minor over C there. We've got our standard F chord, and you can do that as a bar chord if you want. So fourth fret on the D string, third fret on the G string, second fret on the B and the E, and that's our standard F. We have a standard G chord. So we'll have the fourth fret on the E string, third fret on the A, open D and G, fourth fret on the B and the E. Now we're also going to have a G over A. So you can just take your first finger off, but we're not playing the top E string. So we have the open A, open D, G, fourth fret on the B and the E, and that's our G over A. Don't play the E string. And we also have G over B. So now we're just playing the 3rd fret on the A string, open D and G, 4th fret on the B and the E, and that's a G over B. <coughs> we have a standard B flat, so it'd be 2nd fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D, G and B, and 2nd fret on the E, and that's our B flat. Now we're also going to have a B flat over A, so this time we're playing the open A string, 4th fret on the D, G and B there, and that's our B flat over A. We're also going to have a B flat over G. This time we're going to play the fourth fret on the E string, mute the A string, and then again the fourth fret on the D, G and B, and that's our B over G, B flat over G, and then we have B flat over F. So now we're playing the first fret on the E string, muting the A string, fourth fret on the D, G and B. And that's our B flat over F. And we also have a G over D, which is the same as G, but just play from the D string. So open D, open G, fourth fret on the B and the E. And that's our G over D there. So we've got lots of chords, so just go through those, take your time, make sure you know them all. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.